what up guys it's your boy x roll ninja here reporting for duty bringing you guys yet another video of watchdogs um, this time around the video uh, mission is called open your world i'm hired bad boy before and he's always protected his identity that's how dead sec works now he wants to meet that's unusual all right i'm gonna try and shake him off his game Let's see what he's up to. Alright, so pretty much it seems like I am going to meet Bad Boy 17 finally. But I'm kind of a little skeptical. I don't know what to expect of him. It's kind of weird that he wants to meet. Let's find out what happens, right, shall we? Bad Boy. What? Bad Boy 17. What the fuck, man? Bad boy 17? Clara. Clara. You don't look 17. <sighs> Do I look like a bad boy? No, you look like a wild card. I hope I don't frighten you. What, do you have a reason to frighten me? Now you're being paranoid. Am I? Someone is fucking with my life. Threatening my family, and at the same moment, the mysterious bad boy wants to meet me, and he is a she. He is a lie. Listen, I need to trust you, Clara. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But here's a reason to listen. The text message you sent me? I know where to find him. Yeah, well, we don't need to meet face to face for that. No. We needed a face-to-face -face for this. You wanted that sex as some axe? You got me in. You should be nicer to me. I'm about to open your world. Yeah. Well, you're not the first woman to promise me that. <clears throat> they do all their nasty work through this. And they don't know I have access. Well, you stole it. <laughs> this is powerful. Just don't be stupid. You screw around and you get people hurt. Worst. Hmm. Well, I don't think you trust me. Give me a reason to trust you. All right. The guy who sent the text, how do we find him? We work together. You with everything I just told. Me. Tracking his signal. You're not quite what I expected. And you're exactly as I expected, Aiden. Well, that was interesting. Bad Boy 17 was actually a female. All right, so pretty much what I did, I just fast forwarded to the point where you have to go to this building to, um, pretty much hack into the warehouse system um, what I'm doing in this part is pretty much it's gonna try to take take them out one at a time because I tried doing going in gun blazing and it's totally a bad idea so I don't recommend it for you guys so I try to do the simplest way as possible which is do one at a time as you guys can see I'm trying to lure them all to where I'm at so I can just pretty much gun them down and it's pretty cool, I'm just setting off alarms, trying to get them to come out of the freaking warehouse like at least one at a time or a couple at a time so I can just shoot them and explode them or whatever I gotta do to, to um, kill them. So as you can see right here, I got another one out of here, so I'm about to, what I'm about to do is actually get out and probably just gonna see if I can hide real quick because I don't want them shooting back at me. I could have just shot them if I, if I wanted to, but I don't know if there was more than one guy out there. I didn't want to start a commotion with the, uh, the crowds and the people calling the cops on me. So what I try to do is try to stay out of sight and just shoot them from where I'll know, you know, no, uh, civilians won't be able to see me. But in this case, I didn't even have to shoot. He had an explosive that I had no idea he, he had it with him. So, so what I did was pretty much set off the explosion. The timer went off. He exploded. Kaboom. So what I'm trying to try to do, uh, what I like to do is I like getting inside the car. I don't know, it's kind of like spy-ish, James Bond-ish kind of thing. So I, that's what I like to do. It's my that's my way of playing the game. 
All right, so it's pretty much time to get our next victim here. Um, I think there's about three guys left. I'm not sure. It sounded like a. It seemed like a lot more when I went in there gun blazing. Um, so let's see. Let's try and see if I can attract this guy out of this damn building. All right, let's see what I could do here. All right, so he, there's one. So then I see another guy. So I'm like, all right, sure. How about you come outside too? I'll take both of you guys out at the same time. But this guy, there you go. Come on, move it along, move it along. There you go. So now that I got both of them trapped, so what I'm going to do is get out the car and start pretty much shooting them. You see how as soon as I took out the gun, there was a civilian saying, oh my god, he got a gun, he got a gun. So that's what that was what I was trying to avoid because what they do, the civilians, what they do is actually call the cops on you and then you have cops going after you. And the cops in this game are not as stupid as you would assume. They're actually pretty, some have some type of intelligence. Um, similar to like Grand Theft Auto. Um, this game is, has been compared to Grand Theft Auto. Um, it has a lot of similarities and I agree with that but it's totally different games. Uh, I personally like Watch Dog better. Um, that's my opinion. I know a lot of you guys love the Grand Theft Auto, you know, gameplay. As you guys can see, I see if I could take all three of these guys out at the same time. But I was only able to take out two. So I don't know how he didn't die. He was the one closest to the car, which makes no sense. So what I'm going to do right now, he has an explosive. So I'm going to actually set it off. And I believe this is the last guy on this warehouse. For this first part, because it's like a two-part warehouse type of thing. So he throws the grenade, but he end up killing himself. Which makes no sense, because the, the explosion of the car was closer than the grenade. But anyway, whatever. So I'm like, alright, cool. Everybody's done, overkilled. So I'll just go ahead and walk my way through in there. You know, like a badass. Right then. So, um, I'm going to see if I can just pick up some guns. Because as you know, if, once you pick up guns, you pretty much unlock them. So you can actually buy them at the... Um, armory store so I try to pick up as much um, weapons as possible just so I have everything to be unlocked so I was just gonna cruise my way here see if I can spot anything maybe I'm missing something and he, um, hitting treasures or hitting stuff that you can find overall I'm I, I gotta say I'm really am enjoying this game like it's it's, it's it's a good refresher from all the Call of Duties and all the first-person shooting game you know it's really fun to have the the capabilities of hacking into systems and you know being all sneaky and stuff um, it does remind me of um, Splinter Cell which is uh, it's one of my uh, you know like I mentioned before I do I have played that game and I actually do like it um, so I was tr actually trying to get into this door but I realized that it has no power going to it so I have to go find the um, there you go it's right over there so you pretty much have to click on that so you can actually unlock it so you guys can see now it's blue instead of white so I now should be able to just walk through the door with no issues at all Alright, so this is pretty much halfway point. Because I still have another, um. Another building. building. See what's ahead? The layout shows a wide open indoor plaza. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to your phone? It's a perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. Hack their phones, earpieces, explosives. Everything runs off computer chips these days. Okay, I'll try it. Can you scan me the offices? Find me someone with an unsecured laptop. Got one. Bradley Coughlin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's a security director. Of course he is. Once I hack in, you move fast. Track her collar and get out. It won't take long for security to spot the intrusion. Don't worry about me. Alright, so it looks like me and Clara is going to be like working together. I don't know if I should trust her. She's kind of gives me the odd, you know, feeling that she's there's more behind her be, uh, besides the the hacker, you know, psychic. It's just crazy. I don't know. Something about her is just fishy. So, um, the objective for this is to pretty much bounce between camera and camera to find the security guard. There should be a security guard on top that uh, has a camera. So what you gotta do is actually hack into him. So once you're in his body or whatever in his little camera, you should you should be able to hack the um, the office. Uh, I believe the office will be to my left. Let's see if I can get there. You go. 
all right so you see where it says hack so what you gotta do is pretty much hack that system once you're hacked in it will teleport you to this little jigsaw puzzle as you guys know from the other um, missions we did um, so same thing the blue line you just make sure you gotta mash it all the way to the top so you can actually unlock that to give you access to the next puzzle um, so as you guys can see maybe hopefully this will help you so once I have all the blues the upstairs it is gonna unlock as you guys as you guys can see is unlocked now alright so I will go in and do the next one uh, these puzzles are not that hard a um, little annoying if you ask me not really much of a puzzle guy I hate puzzles but as you guys can see you gotta do what you gotta do alright so this one's unlocked BAM so now I have access to this guy's computer so what I gotta do is actually go in and hack into I'm his system you, it's not just an ad it blocks my entire view just one enormous oh shit someone's hacked in oh fuck me lock down the building find him now oh great alright so okay I got you in can you track the car right. searching now the police are coming. They've got the All right, I've been compromised. All right, start shooting at me. All right, so now that that's done, the hacking part is done. So what you gotta do now is actually escape the building. Um, by any means necessary. The cops are scanning me. I can't get clear fast enough. Does DedSec know a way to jam their scans? Wait, I think we do. Here it is. I'm sending it to you. By any means necessary so what we just unlock is called a jam com so when you have that um the yellow radius when the when the cops are scanning you so what it does is pretty much interrupts the, the police scanner it gives you an option to um run away and the bar on the bottom right hand of the screen doesn't fill up when you have that jammer on so it gives you an extra you know an extra time for you to escape so what i gotta do right now is pretty much avoid being in the yellow circles for a long period of time and my bars you know, so my so, so the bar won't get filled up to 100%. Uh, unfortunately, I screwed up, so the cops started chasing at me. Um, so what I'm doing right now is pretty much avoiding the cops, and I find this little sweet hiding spot down here under this little bridge. Um, this way, the cops won't be able to find me. All right, so oops, I just injured like three civilians doing that. All right, so I get out of my car. It's pretty fun how these guys are just taking pictures. I like, I love the interactions of the uh, of the civilians out. You know how realistic it is, because you know people will actually do that. Will actually take out their phones and take pictures of of an accident or a car getting hit or something like that, which is pretty cool. I actually do like that. So what I'm doing right now is trying to keep keep it down low, try and make sure that cops don't find me. All right, guys. Well, this concludes um this mission. Open your world. Um, please don't forget to ninja slash that like button comment below tell me what you guys think about the video and please don't forget to subscribe show me your support please I really do appreciate it alright guys well x royal ninja out peace